Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Hey, welcome back, YouTubers and Mad fans. This is Mad Money Shot, bringing you another Madden 18 preview. We got some budget beasts today, some day one budget beasts at the cornerback position. This is one of the biggest areas of need uh, in this upcoming season. I know there's a lot of really high rated cornerbacks. Uh, you got guys like AJ Boye, Chris Harris, you know, uh, Dominic Rogers Camardi, Richard Sherman. These are all guys that everybody's going to want, and they're also going to be really expensive. So, uh, to make sure that you guys don't get beat deep the second the game comes out, I'm going to show you guys some of the cheaper um, players that got a nice combination of height speed acceleration as well as some pretty good coverage stats so that you guys can find those guys nice and cheap and they can help you compete right away so let's go ahead and let's get right into it if you guys want to see more videos like this uh, you name it uh, hit the like button and I'll do that or let me know in the comment section what type of video you'd like me to do next now this guy this is my man right here I made a list of the top 10 guys that I couldn't wait to use rookies and Madden and Kevin King was number one this guy right here six foot three doesn't quite have the weight on him but six foot three how many cornerbacks are six foot three out there and this guy ran a four five speed Madden Madden did him okay. They gave him 85 speed, A7 acceleration, A7 jump. You are not throwing a ball up over this guy with A7 jump, those speed and acceleration stats. His his man, his own coverage, a little on the low side, his catches a 61. But I can tell you right now, this is going to be the first guy that I go out and snatch for my roster. Kevin King, mark it down. Number two, I got the guy that I picked for my rookie premiere. And uh, if you didn't pick him up then, you can still pick him up now as a gold. Um, he came out as one of the best rookie cards that I've seen in a while. Six foot one, which is one of the reasons I picked him as well as his speed, which I knew was going to be good, but I know it's going to be this good. 88 speed overall. He's also got an 85 jump, 85 excel, 85 agility. I mean, he's going to be all over the field. Uh, his man coverage and his zone coverage are kind of on the low side, but he's a rookie, so that's to be expected. But all those physical attributes are going to make him a shutdown corner. All right, so one of the first guys on this list, he's an elite card, so he's not necessarily going to be the cheapest thing in the world, but he's 81 overall, so he's on the lower end of that. It's Anthony Brown. This is a, a guy that was, I think, a rookie last year with the Dallas Cowboys. He's 5'11", so he's got pretty decent height. That's good enough. I typically try to be around six foot, but the reason he makes this list is that 88 speed. I mean, that's that's got to be one of the fastest in the game. I think it's second. He's also got pretty good man coverage, pretty good zone coverage, both in the 70s, the high 70s rather. And he's also got 70 catch. I said it's very important that the guys have good catch this year if you expect them to get picks. Next up, I got another elite, but it's not a highly rated elite that people, a lot of people are going to be looking for. It's Jamar Taylor. He's five foot ten. He's got everything you want. He's got 86 speed, 89 acceleration, which I think is the tops in the game. His zone and his man coverage are both in the 80s, which is really nice. Uh, like I said, he's 5 foot 10. He's got 67 hands, though. And he's got one of the highest hit powers in the game at cornerback at a 78. Number one in acceleration, uh, really good speed, and one of the top hit powers. I mean, this guy's got it all. Next up, I got Robert Alford of the Falcons. This guy, another guy, is kind of on the short side. 5 foot 10, like I said, it's about as low as I'll go on an outside corner. He can also play in the slot pretty good. But if you look at his stats, A7 speed, A7 acceleration, 88 jump, so that helps his uh, slight stature. And then he's also got 88 agility, so if somebody's cutting a route in front of him, he's going to be there. 76 hands is one of the reasons that put him on this list a high-end hands guy as well as good coverages and man at an 80 and a 75 in zone next up we're going to try to do a couple more golds ronald darby five foot eleven uh once again i like to see some more six foot guys you'll see that going forward uh but if you look at these speeds you can't deny 87 speed 86 excel 86 jump you look at the physical attributes you're going to see this every time 74 catch once again catching is very important one of the higher guys as far as hands next up we got stephen gilmore this is one of the most used cornerbacks that i had in last year's game i used it in pretty much all of my uh, salary uh, cap games, which a lot of you guys might not play salary cap, but either way, he was an absolute monster. Six foot one, um, that height finally gets somebody a little bit tall. Uh, 86 speed, 89 acceleration. Once again, that tops out number one, and then we really make some specials. Those 79 hands. I mean, he's got good coverages, uh, but those 79 hands is, is one of the best out there in the game, as well as having one of the highest accelerations. Next up, we got another Cleveland Brown, Jason McCourty, six foot corner. Uh, finally getting some more tall guys, got some more golds coming. 86 speed, 88 acceleration, one of the highest accelerations. 71 hands, um, this guy's going to be able to catch. All right, next up, we got Marlon Humphrey. He's another rookie. We had a really good draft this last year as far as corners. A lot of, a really deep draft of some really good players. And this guy's got all the physical attributes I'm talking about. Six foot one, uh, he's got the speed, A6, A9 acceleration. Once again, maxed out for a cornerback. Uh, his hands are a little bit suspect, and his coverage is a little bit down, but that's to be expected. Every time you got a, you know, a, a gold rookie card, they're typically going to be that way. But either way, this guy's got the, 
physical attributes to play really well in a lot of different schemes. All right, next up we got Adore Jackson. This guy right here is 5'11". He's a little bit shorter, a little bit smaller than some of the other guys, but he makes up for that in a big way. A6 speed, maxing out acceleration again. He's got A9 Excel, top of the game, 88 agility. Once again, really high. Uh, his catch is a little bit higher than some of the other guys at 65, but what he really makes up with his coverage is a 66 and a 68. That doesn't sound like that high, but compared to some of the other rookie cornerbacks, it's one of the better ones you're going to see. Next up, we got a real sleeper. This is a guy not a lot of people know about. Quinn Dunbar is one of my all-time favorite cornerbacks in this game, I swear to God. He's a six foot two cornerback, uh, and he, he's got some of the better physical attributes, too. 85 speed. Uh, once again, the number one acceleration in the game, 89. That's the tops in the game right now. He's got that as well. His coverages are okay. They're in the 60 range, uh, but take it from experience. I've used this guy a lot, and he's a shutdown cover three corner. Next up, we got another goal card, Bryce Callahan. This is a guy a little on the short side again. Every time we got a cornerback on the short side, they usually make up for it in speed, and sure enough, this guy does A7 speed, A7 excel. He's also got an 88 jump, so even though he's not the tallest, he makes up for that in elite jumping stat. Uh, he's got really good hands, too. 68 catch, uh, but look at his, his zone is a 70. His man coverage is a 70. This guy right here is a real undercover beast not a lot of people know about. Continuing with the goal card trends, we got Philip Gaines. This guy right here, six foot tall, perfect height, really good speed, A6 speed a7 acceleration uh, his zone coverage is 71 which most people run so that's a really nice stat to have and then he has a 65 catch here's a guy a lot of people probably know about because he's in the famed denver broncos secondary he's probably the forgotten guy bradley roby the slot corner 511 that's pretty good height i'll take that but we really mix up for his speed a7 speed um, he has one of the higher accelerations his man his zone coverage is one of the better combinations out of the guys i mentioned too both are 73 and then he's got 71 hands i mean you got to have high hands i think if somebody's got a hands in the 70 they should be plucking a lot of balls next up this is a guy i used in the slot probably all year in mutt last year although i play a lot of mutt salary this guy was kind of on the cheap side he was a silver car back then but trey wayne six foot tall he is a he was a hell of a speedster last year i think he was a 92 speed now he's dropped a little bit even though he went up from a silver card to a gold card he dropped to an 87 speed still one of the best speedy guys out there 68 hands his man coverage is a 70 his zone coverage is a 67 uh but bottom line is this guy's not going to get beat deep and last but not least going out with a bang we got brandon williams this guy right here arizona cardinals everybody knows anybody who plays secondary in arizona Cardinals is a good, is a good safety or corner or whatever i mean they there's no flight zone for a reason six foot tall corner guy's got 87 speed 86 acceleration 85 agility all relatively elite at this point in the game uh, also 78 jump so that's pretty good uh, but his man coverage is 71 zone coverage is 67 um you know good stats all around here's another guy that uh, you don't have to spend an arm and a leg for and you're going to go out and get him he's gonna he's gonna do work for your team so that's it like i said if you guys want to see more uh positions if you guys want to see more um you know attribute based videos like this do me a favor hit the like button i'll put that out other than that thanks for watching mad Moy shit out hey you made it to the end of the video which means either you like the content you're watching or you fell asleep halfway through either way if you hit the subscribe button you can catch all my videos now releasing daily thanks for watching